What's up YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security. Uh, today I'm going to give you a small story and I'm also going to um, do a product review. So today's product that I'm going to review will be the Cam Pro 128GB Police Body Cam. Now the reason why they call it the Cam Pro 128 is because this is 128 gigabytes of storage. They also have a 64 gigabyte um, storage camera that is slightly cheaper. Um, to start off with, I would suggest that you go with the 128 because it can record for up to two days. There's been days where I would take my cam with me and I forget to shut it off and I'm like, wow, thank God I don't have 64 gigs because it would be completely useless for today. So having that 126 uh, gigabyte, or excuse me, 128 gigabytes of storage really helps. It also allows you to record in um, higher resolution. Now this thing right here is, uh, you can record in 720p, 1080p, and they also claim 4K. I don't really know if I'm getting 4K quality out of this. Uh, I would definitely say it's 1080p. 4K is kind of pushing it, but they say it's a 4K camera. What I really like about this camera is it is clear. The microphone on it is phenomenal. If you guys have seen any of my old videos, you'll see that I can pick up uh, audio pretty well on this thing. Dude, the night vision on this is absolutely amazing. You can go into the restroom, shut the light off, turn it on, and it will record. And you would almost think that there was a, a light uh, going on. You can see it has infrared right here, and it also has uh, night vision. So... Um, there's the front right there. It's a pretty decent size lens on the front. If I were you, I would black out this Cam Pro because it looks kind of lame. Uh, on the side here, uh, you'll see that it has some buttons. This allows you to access your menu. Uh, you can take pictures if you wanted to. So if you have it on your chest, you can just press the button and take a photo. And then it will store it separately from your videos. Um, it also has an audio feature here. So you can record just audio. You can set it up in the menu that every time it turns on, there's a red light that goes on. But I don't like the red light. I feel like it uh, wastes your battery. And it also, um, it just stands out. I'd rather be a little bit more inconspicuous when I wear this. Speaking of the battery, they claim that you get a 11-hour life on this. Realistically, I think I get about 9 hours, sometimes a little bit less. Uh, if you are recording in 720, evidently it can go 11 hours. But I like to put it up at the max. I want this thing to be at 4K. So um, it does kind of waste the battery a little bit longer. At the end of the day, like a 9-10 hour shift, I haven't even gone halfway through my storage. So again, I really encourage going for the 128. But if you're trying to budget, then certainly consider the 64. This thing has not given me any issues. Uh, the clip did break on it. There's a little clip and then you could just slide this little thing on here and click it onto your shirt. I've modified it and put Velcro right here. So it does the job. You can see right here, I just, boom, click it on my vest and it stays. This thing, it's not coming off. You literally have to pull it to come off. So to be honest, if I got a new one, I probably would just break the clips off just because I like the fact that it is Velcro. So there you go, you just throw it on your vest. You can line it up, put it wherever you want, wherever there's Velcro. All right, on this side right here, you have a little HDMI port so you can connect this di uh, directly to your TV and view the footage that you've acquired throughout the day. It also has an AV jack, a headphone jack, and a USB charging jack. So you can use a regular phone charger to charge this thing up. It also comes with a docking bay, right? So you can have this little docking bay and it just goes click and then you could uh, have it charge and sync with your computer at the end of the day so you don't have to like worry about transferring files. I don't use that docking bay. I just simply plug it into a charger and then um, acquire videos throughout the week. And then um, at the end of the week, see the videos I like, throw them on my computer, and then get rid of the videos I don't like. So let's power this thing up, right? It makes a little sound when you power it up. Okay. Right, so there's your little screen. Um, as you can see right here, uh, it's recording me. Well, it's not recording me, but it's just a live view. Uh, if you click on OK right here, you'll get to a menu screen. And then the menu screen will say something like uh, photo, audio, video. And then you can go in here 
and change some of the settings. Some of the settings that I put are um, high resolution. Uh, I don't like to make any beeping sounds as I'm going through the menu. What I do like about this is, all right, now it's on video, right? And I know it's kind of hard to see, guys. So it's on video. If you were to click on this, right, you can see it should pop up and show me every single, so I can go through here and toggle through 15 minute increments of recording. So these are all the things that I've seen throughout this entire week and it records it in 15 minute increments. So it's not one super long video. You have tons of separate videos and that way you can break it up. Uh, the other thing that I like about this, it has not one like one button recording. So there's a little button right here. It has a little camera on it. This thing is completely turned off right now, right? So I just powered it off. If I were to press this button, it would instantly st start recording and um, I won't have to do anything. So I don't have to like turn it on, go to menu. You just simply uh, press that button and it starts recording instantly. I use that a lot. I don't like to keep this on all day long because it uses up um, storage. Although you can do that, you're, you'll be just fine. I just don't like to filter through a ton of videos throughout the day. Um, and you know becomes a, a tedious thing so I only record what I want to record now if I'm in an area where things are kind of iffy and something can pop off at any second I just let it record for the entire shift but the site that I'm on right now nothing really happens uh, whenever I come across somebody I turn it on and then whenever they leave I turn it off and that way it, it uh, categorizes things much easier um, it has a little star button right here, which is such a cool feature. So if something really significant happened, let's say that my day I'm just sitting there and it's recording, it's been recording for like six hours straight, and then I see um, somebody doing something illegal, I press the star button and it will literally save that video and put it in its own little uh, compartment and put a star next to it, which means important. So at the end of the day, when you go through your videos, you can just skip through all the rubbish and then pick anything that has a star on it and you know that that was something significant so you don't have to filter through like 12 or 14 hours worth of footage. Um, there's a little button on top of here. This is infrared. You click that and it will see in like nighttime. Like I'm telling you it is absolutely clear. I think the night vision is more clear than the day recording. And then uh, right here is your power button. You hold it down for a few seconds and it just shuts off. You also get a serial number right here that can help identify your uh, camera. Uh, I'm going to read off the little list here, some of the things that it offers. Um, it has a, they say that it has a long-lasting 11-hour continuous video recording. I'd say it's more like 9 hours. Uh, it has police tags, so you can put your name on it. Like in the corner, you can have the date, the time, and then you can put your name to make it more legit. Here's something else that's really cool with it. It literally has GPS with latitude and longitude watermarks. So you can say, hey man, I was at this location and this is proof. I mean, my, my GPS on the camera certifies that I was there at that time. Uh, low protection, uh, excuse me, low temperature protection. So you can literally freeze this thing and it would still work. It's pretty weatherproof. I don't know if it's waterproof. I would doubt that. It does have these rubber stoppers that you have to pull back whenever you access uh, one of these um, open ports. So I'm sure that gives it some um, resilience to water, but I, I wouldn't guarantee that it's waterproof. Going through the comments, I found a few people say it's somewhat. So I, I mean, I wouldn't hold it underwater. Definitely wouldn't be an issue in the rain. Um, they say that it's 1296p true HD video. They also at some places say it's 4K, so I don't know. It, it's, it's, a good, it's a good camera, okay? Uh, it does say that it's waterproof and shockproof. I have dropped this quite a few times. I can confirm it still works. The clips broke off because I pulled it one day and I forgot to take the clip off and it snapped off these two little brackets that were here and there's no way you're going to glue that back. So I just went with the Velcro. Uh, 140 degree field of view. So you get a really nice wide angle. Uh, infrared up to 10 meters uh, night vision. I mean, this thing is just completely awesome, guys. So if you're looking for a body cam, I've been through a couple of them. And I have to say, this one is my favorite one. This thing even lights up a little LED light if you wanted some just like flashlight feature on it. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing some things, um, but that's just the gist of it. It's an amazing camera, guys. I'll put a link in my affiliate link. It's called the Campro 128G 
body camera if you want to budget go for the 64 and then maybe give it or sell it to somebody at some point recoup your money and then go for the 128g but i decided to just straight up go for the 128 because i wanted that extra storage all right so here's here's where i am guys story time i got a job with a cool boss right so you want to have like your ducks lined up when you work somewhere you got to ask yourself are they paying you enough no but is the job easy yes well then be happy right are they paying you enough yes does the job suck yes well you're getting paid for it man so tough it up right you've got these like little things you got to like line up so right now um in 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 my job that i'm working i'm trying to keep it vague where i work right just for privacy purposes <clears throat> my job pays me well the boss is awesome um the drive is a little far so that's something else to consider when you work in security how far is it man i, I mean you're gonna be commuting every day are you gonna hit traffic are you gonna spend two hours a day uh going back and forth right that eats into your time your money your gas um so my job it's, it's kind of far do i hit traffic currently no if i work a day shift yes um is the job easy yes is it dangerous yes um do you have the potential to have something bad happen yes can you avoid it yes so my job yes it is dangerous i hear gunshots every 30 minutes but if i park my car and position it in such a fashion that i'm not so visible if somebody would come in there and try to shoot the place up i doubt they're going to see me in my vehicle i am so off center that it would it would be difficult now if i stayed in that guard shack at the at the place yeah dude they're going to take out that guard shack instantly that's why you will not catch me in there um it's just not a good idea so my biggest problem is the hours right you've got day shift that's another thing to take into consideration swing shift uh graveyard shift those are things you got to like look for when you're applying so you know you say okay well how much are you going to pay where's the location how far is it um what shifts do i work is it dangerous and then last you go for like hey are there, you know are there any benefits involved um with working for this company i don't know if my company provides benefits guys i'm really in this uh, company for the short term unless the boss um wants to challenge me and put me in a more um challenging position and then i will stay longer i mean if they want to put me as a supervisor and i grow with the company i will certainly take advantage of that uh if not then i will you know depart in a few months and hopefully work with them on some smaller projects or maybe help them out once in a while so what my current situation is i the job pays well the distance man it's okay as far as safety i think i'm okay um i do like the job i like the staff the only thing i don't like is the hours man they got me working graveyard shift this is um something that i just cannot adjust to um i may not look tired right now but i'm really starting to get tired yesterday i worked from 6 p.m until 6 a.m and then this morning i slept for only like i'm gonna say five hours um it wasn't really solid sleep so now i'm exhausted fortunately i don't work tonight so i get to sleep at night so i did message my boss today a little bit hesitant but you know you just got to do it and i let him know hey boss um as much as i appreciate all the good stuff you've done for me i just cannot uh do this graveyard shift thing it's 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 just too much and he did message me back and he was like hey brother uh let me look at the schedule and see what we can arrange for you so that is a huge plus man i'm really excited about that i um i would really like to work day or swing shift they have their downsides the day shift damn dude there is so much traffic getting there uh it's in the east bay near san francisco so you're definitely gonna hit a ton of traffic in the morning but the the whole of last week i worked from 6 a.m to 2 p.m man that day flew by i got there at six next thing you know it's like 10 and then it's 11 o'clock and i'm like oh my god i'm almost off of work when i work graveyard shift there's days where i'm just sitting there and i'm like oh my god dude it's only it's three in the morning it's four in the morning and i'm like exhausted swing ship has its challenges too right um ah, your whole day is geared toward getting ready to go to work at five o'clock or four o'clock so you could be having a great morning but you're constantly like oh man it's, it's almost time to go to work it's almost time to go to work you know and, and that could kind of bug you but <clears throat> realistically i think i would like to work the swing shift so i can work from like five o'clock to 1 a.m i'll get home it'll still be dark 
and then um, I'll go to sleep and, and I'll be able to wake up at like 8 or 9 in the morning like I used to do. So I'm hoping, man, you guys just keep me in your uh, your prayers and your thoughts and all that good stuff. That all transpired this morning. I messaged the boss. Let's see. Uh, he hasn't put out this week's schedule yet. Let's see what he does for me. Um, he might just say, hey, Mike, there's not much we can do. And that's a possibility. The current guard has been there for six years. I'm going to be taking his shift uh, if the boss says okay. And uh, I don't think he's going to be happy about that. Nor do I think it's kind of fair. I mean, he's been there way longer than me to kick him off his ship and put him at graveyard. But remember when I talked about know your value? My boss knows my value. I've made it clear that I'm an asset to the company. I have a lot to bring to the table. I have a lot to teach him. He's uh, not technology driven. And uh, there's things I can definitely do to help bring this company into the 21st century. Right? Uh, I sound like I had one tooth when I said that. All right, guys. Well, anyways, um, just wish me luck. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. But remember, if there is something that's bugging you at work, tell your boss. Relay this information. Um, you never know what the outcome would be. I, I kind of hesitated for the last week to tell my boss, hey, I'm not happy with these hours because I've only been with the company for like one month. So here I am already making demands. I already asked, can I get the one of the weekends off for my birthday? And they said, sure, no problem. And I didn't want to just keep being this needy person. But you know what? Um, why? Why not? Right? I mean, they have the capacity to do it. If they were to fire me today, I guarantee you they would find somebody to fill my shift instantly. They'd have no problem adjusting the schedule. So um, I'm sure they can work work the schedule out and figure something out. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the um, user who asked me to do a product review on the camera. I am sorry I didn't uh, get your name. I tried to find it, but I've gotten so many comments lately that I can't find your name. But you know who you are. Make yourself known in the comments. I will make sure I call you out. But that was a great idea to tell me to do a product review on a camera. I will make sure I do another product review on one of my um, other items uh, soon. Maybe we'll do, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe my belt or something because um, that's something definitely important. Or the vest. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll, my, my next video, I think I'm going to show you guys how to find a cheap piece of body armor. Right? I paid, I think, 30 bucks for an $1,800 armor. I almost got another one for $50. Again, $1,800 armor. I'll probably show you guys how to do it on the next video. I just got to figure out how to um, record the screen so you guys can see exactly how I scroll through things on my computer. Um, I can't just point the camera at my screen. It would be blurry. So I might have to download some sort of screen recorder so, and then matriculate it into the, um, the, the YouTube channel so you can see me just kind of on a live search i you get what i'm saying all right guys take care hey know your value know your worth please above all be safe